If you'd like to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, hey everybody. Um, I am going to start out with coffee. <laughs> mm. Mm. So good. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start out with my L'Oreal Paris. Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. Everyone knows about this product already. Okay. Okay. So then I am, and I use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte. Um, it's good for my skin. Um, live in Florida now. I just moved from Tennessee, Nashville. Um, I guess it's been a month ago. Um, some of my older videos were shot in my condo in Nashville. I miss Nashville. Uh, we moved for my husband's job. So now I live in Florida. Um, I was born and raised here, so I'm coming back. But I lived in Nashville for six years. So um, Thankfully, I'm kind of moving down here in the winter, if you even call it winter for Florida. But... Um, the humidity is real. So, now I've used a beauty blender plenty of times. I have a ton of them, but to be honest with you, kind of when I get ready for work, I love these makeup pads. I mean, they just like, they cover more. I don't have time to sit there and dot like this all over my face. I just, I really don't. Um, especially when I'm kind of in a hurry. So I just find that these sponges, I mean these round circular sponges have been in the makeup world and in beauty for years anyhow. So, you know, don't fix it if it ain't broke. That's kind of how I feel about it. I really like it and it, it just covers more area quicker if you're kind of in a hurry and like getting ready in the morning because you have to go to work because you got a job. Okay, so now I know what it feels like to have your camera shut off right in the middle of speaking. We left off under eye, which I use the NYX HD Banana Powder. This stuff is the bomb. It's amazing. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that with my e.l.f. brush and I'm going to lightly put it underneath and around my eye and just pat it in there again this is just to prevent creasing I always do it too um, kind of on the bridge of my nose as well and also I have a birthmark right here that I had even the day I was born in my photos like right here it gets really red so I kind of always add some just right here and again that's just for me because of the red kind of splotchy I have um back into this wet and wild product clearly i bet y'all saw that one coming and i just take a little bit and there's a lot of fallout but i don't fallout doesn't bother me because i don't know i've used so many products like over the years and being in shows and stuff that all types of makeup that i can I mean, I've done gigs in Nashville where I've literally forgotten my makeup bag and I'm like, no! So right before a gig, I'm having to like run to the drugstore, grab what I can to make it work. Um, but I kind of just like to put this all around almost the edge and in the hairline and then also on the neck. And I also bring my bronzer down here as well. Um, and then I'll pat it some more just to kind of give it like a harsh edge. Alrighty. Um, I got this Stilia palette um, when Ulta had their 21 Days of Beauty, which is like, I'm going to sucker crystal into 21 Days of Beauty. I literally have to look through the catalog first and pick the days and be like, I'm only going on this day, I'm only going on this day, and I only need this. Because I will go every single day and buy everything, and it's very bad. So, but, however, I kind of stepped out of my comfort zone because this is the Tan to Deep palette um, for darker skins. But 
I have so much makeup that is geared towards the colors for my skin type. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna live on the edge a little and I'm gonna buy the one that's not projected for my skin tone. I will get to it. Where in the heck? Are you kidding me? Did my thing go? Oh, this is so annoying. You know, you think I would set all this crap up ready for a video. Here we go. Wet n Wild. Everybody knows about these. These are amazing. Use them all the time. This is the creme brulee color. You know what? I wasn't planning on priming today, but I guess I will. I guess I will. I'm taking my e.l.f. glitter primer. I have like four of these. And because, um, you know, back in the day when us girls didn't have primers because primers have become so so popular and they're great don't get me wrong they're back in the day you couldn't just go to the store and pick up a primer like did not work like that so um so Mimi Nine. I'm going back to my little wet n wild creme brulee I think I already did this part and I'm just gonna pack it all over the lid uh, oh, MG I love it so much oh Oh my god it's so good I am so glad I did not listen to others and follow the rules I broke the rules a little and bought the palette I just wanted to buy again I'm using a wet n wild brush Woo! I'm so so happy I didn't listen because I love this color and the pan in here for it is huge I get so so much this is an amazing color such an amazing color so I feel like if you're starting out trying to find the right colors for your skin tone you should follow the rules and obviously listen to people that are matching the colors for the eyeshadows and the blushes in a palette for your skin tone however if you have a ton of makeup like I do live on the edge a little grab something that you know is not supposed to be right up your alley and uh, see what you can do with it. Go in the corner with it. It's like O M G. So good. So good. Woo, mama. So good. Oh, I love this stuff. I think it's awesome. So I'm going to take a flat brush and just spray it once not even a full spray I don't like spraying it too much and I'm just going to dab it Woo! wait that a girl look at that amazingness eat this color I absolutely would you know what I'm saying it's that good I'm going to be using the cover girl what color is this classic pink 110 it's just white and pretty you know, the trick. going with the wet and wild wet and wild Fergie collection this is Hollywood Boulevard but this is old it came out I bought a few of them at Walgreens and they worked great. And then the line went under and went to the Dollar Tree and I found them and I was like, oh, hex. So I think I bought like, I don't know, maybe like four of them. I know, I'm a little obsessed. And then, um, so I have a lot to go around because I hate when a product is discontinued and you can never buy it again. But then found out they came back with it because it was, so everyone loved it so much and um, you can buy it again but it's n named differently or labeled differently so I don't have any of those newer ones but I'm just gonna lightly brush this to the top I don't know if you can see it there but it's really pretty it's very pretty did I mention we just moved here to Florida I think I did mm. My husband's job brought us here, and I love it. I love being back in Florida. I love the sun. I love the water. 
I love the water. Um, I will say um, we are extremely sad for the families that are going through all those fires in Gatlinburg. That is so, so sad. Um, and we're thinking about y'all, so, and we're praying for you. So, so now I'm going to go ahead and take my L'Oreal Voluminous Curved. I like the curved um, brush. I love this stuff. This is in black brown, so this will do for now. I'm not going to do my whole shebang with my fake eyelashes and all that because, uh -uh. So this is my routine. This is what I do. I put on one little coat. <laughs> one little coat. One little coat. I put on an... It's hard for me to talk and do this at the same time. I do... <gasps> on the top like that. And then I go do something else to let it kind of dry on the eyelashes. So I'm going to take... I'll go do my brows now and then I'll come back to my mascara. My Milani, I love this stuff. Well, that one's out. Can't use that one. I'm about to use this one. Yes, Jesus, tell me this one isn't out. Oh, it's getting close to being out. I swear I go through these like it's water. Anyhow, I just take it underneath the brow and I shape the bottom line. I love, I, my first ever one was the Anastasia, um, and I did love that the tip of it was super skinny and fine, so you could like, but then I found out that I was wasting like 30 hours on my eyebrows, because I was like having to draw, 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 and so, this one's bigger, but I have been doing my brows for a little while now, so I don't have... It's just kind of easier for me to just draw them in and go, I don't know. Sister's got to work. Sister's got things to do. Oh, my God. Do not tell me this one's out. <sighs> you know what? Milani needs to add a little bit more product into these because you would think they did not last that long. It's starting to be on my grocery list. Every time I go out, I'm like, oh, pick up that eyebrow pencil. Okay. Now I'm going to take the Revlon Not Just Nudes 710 Cream Shadows. I can get these open. I'm going to just line like this right under there. Lorac Pro palette. And I'm going to take just this light color and drift it right over that cream base that I put on. I'm just going to pat it on there really quick. My mascara. Make these puppies a little bit. I'm going to go in with the NYX color in Peekaboo Neutral and just line my lips. LA Colors. I found this and I fell in love. I just tried it randomly because I was um, at the Dollar Tree and just grabbed it and I honestly have fallen in love with this color. It's natural shine. Mm. It's such a great neutral color. It's so great. And for the price, you can't beat it. Okay, you guys, so this is my finished look. Um, and if you like the finished look, then I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye. Um, I mean, let me look at your hair.